Hello, I wanted to show you a uh, really neat uh, light mod tool. Um, you could build one for two dollars. Now, uh, cheap umbrella reflectors are typically about fifteen dollars. Uh, the gold ones are uh, actually substantially more um, production costs. Uh, you can make this in two dollars for two dollars. Uh, let me show you. Right now I have it uh, hooked up to uh, Nikon Speedlight, and there's my little pocket wizard, of course, and I have it on a cheap little light stand. And let me turn the unit around here. A little bit of squeaky, huh? <clears throat> right on the back here I actually have a, a piece of wire using inductri uh, industrial duct tape to hold it, and then I bent the wire to uh, give the unit a uh, parabolic shape and then I have a piece of velcro on the bottom of my speed light then I use another velcro strap for support let me show you a side view here you can see the bend that I have I have uh, both the diffuser and the reflector card up to throw as much light at the correct angle to reflect back onto my subject uh, you can see the actual uh, distance between there is uh, roughly about uh, 10 inches. So you can actually make one of these in about a half an hour. Now I actually laminated the black cardstock, but you don't have to. I mean, most people are not going to use them outdoors in the rain. It would just last a little bit longer by uh, having it laminated. But let me turn it around here. There we go. And uh, what I did is I uh, used a uh, large sequence. I've uh, made a couple of these. Let me see exactly what size the sequence is. Yeah, gold, 24 grams, uh, 20 millimeter discs. And a little packet like this is a uh, dollar 95 or something at Hobby Lobby or local craft store. Um, now you ask, obviously, what sort of effect does it give? And uh, the effect is wonderful. While uh, unlike uh, the uh, jumbo glitter uh, cards that I've showed you in a prior video, this one gives you a very, very soft golden illumination. It's almost imperceptible. It gives you an increased richness and contrast that actually gives you the perception uh, that your subject has better contrast separation from the background and adds an almost imperceptible warm glow. It's actually extremely beautiful, the people that I've actually shown the shots to from this. Um, I said they're about, I don't know, 60 or so uh, large sequences. Sequence. What's the plural for sequence? <laughs> <laughs> a large sequence glued to this parabolic card and uh, the effects are really 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 nice and uh, for two dollars not only is it a whole lot cheaper and smaller than an umbrella reflector but it's a joy to make you know while you're sitting in front of the TV for 20 or 30 minutes you know wait for it to dry then all I did was uh, I just glued uh, like a field goal basically uh, field goal shape on the back and then after I mean I didn't glue it to the back but I uh, taped it to the back and then after I got done taping and I bent it into the parabolic shape so very simple very easy to make I mean I don't need any instructions if you can't figure out how to make this then you probably don't know how to make cereal <laughs> but you can see the bend that I have here on the wire it's like 12 gauge wire um, you can obviously pick up if you don't already have a spool, everybody needs a large spool of wire in their house anyway. It's so useful for so many things. But uh, light modifiers don't have to be expensive. And, you know, the notion that they have to be professionally produced is absolutely ludicrous. Because a light modifier, as long as it works, is a light modifier. As long as it achieves uh, the desired effect that you want. And these actually work better than gold uh, umbrella reflectors. And uh, the second attribute, um, so it's got three attributes so this particular device has. One, it provides a very soft, nearly imperceptible glow um, to your subject. So it's perfectly perfect for baby or female or just general portraiture. Um, uh, it also gives better separation from the background, but it also gives a very wide, diffuse illumination. So there are no hot spots. This is typical, even with the diffuser head, 
um, actually flipped over on this current speed light and it gives you a very very even illumination you can actually throw a 40 millimeter uh, lens and uh, take a portrait shot from about 15 feet away and you'll basically uh, not have any hot spots at all so it does give you beautiful soft even illumination and you know, across a rather broad spectrum focal length uh, lens that you use uh, for portraiture so and uh, it's incredibly great right now the speed light is sitting on a fifteen dollar light stand right now i have a pocket wizard hooked to it that's uh, slaved I, I wouldn't need a pocket wizard since it's an sb910 i could actually just uh, stick it in a slave mode and um, my uh, flash my pop-up flash in commander mode but i'm just used to using a little pocket wizard so anyway that's how you make that and it only costs you two dollars and it is really does give you very very beautiful results i absolutely promise you that that's the case so you can uh, personally come over and kick my ass if i'm lying after you build one because it is exactly what i said it is and it will do exactly what i said it will do anyway thanks for watching if you like this video drop me a buck or two or tell me to go jump off a cliff um, but I like uh, keeping things uh, simple and not everything has to be, uh, you know, go out and blow your money on expensive crap because, uh, you know, I'm about saving money. But not, you know, being on the cheap side, it's like, well, we can do something that's 80% as good for a lot less money. This is, this produces better results than an umbrella reflector does. Um, honest to goodness, it actually does, so... A lot of the gold, uh, when I speak of umbrella reflectors, I'm referring to gold umbrella reflectors. And a lot of the gold umbrella reflectors are very domineering. They're, they're, they're too gold. and They're, they're too slanted. You've got to get them further away or drop the power down. And this gives you that perfect hint of evening light. And uh, it's almost imperceptible. But it does add a, written, a richness to your subject when shot. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.